What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to graph exponential functions in the form y is equal to a to the x or uh, another way you might see it is f of x is equal to a to the x, all right? y and f of x basically mean the same thing, all right? So there's basically four scenarios, all right? The first one is just going to be this normal one, this original one, y is equal to a to the x. The other one would be y is equal to a to the negative x, all right? The next one would be y is equal to negative a to the x. And then the last one would be y is equal to negative a to the negative x. Okay, so this first graph is always going to look something like this, right? It's showing exponential growth, right? Because you always read the graph left to right. So then you can see that this graph is growing. Okay, and it's always going to run through this point right here, which is at 0, 1, all right? And the importance of this point right here is that it's the y-intercept, right? It's the point where your graph crosses the y-axis, right? That's what the y-intercept is. Okay, and then the next one over here, y is equal to a to the negative x, is basically going to be the first one just kind of flipped. So it's going to look something like that, all right? And then again, it's going to run through the same point, 0, 1 right there. Now this one right here, y is equal to negative a to the x. So this one's actually going to be on this side of the x-axis uh, like that. All right, and then this one runs through the point zero comma negative one, right? And then this uh, last one right here, y is equal to negative a to the negative x is going to look something like that. And then this one is also going to run through the point zero comma negative one. All right, now it'd obviously be kind of a pain in the booty trying to memorize what each of these are and then trying to remember what each of the graphs are supposed to look like, right? So one little trick you can kind of use is using the a and the x over here, okay? So your x over here is your x-coordinate, and then the a you can kind of think of as the y-coordinate here, okay? So here we have a positive x and a positive y, right? These are both positive right now. So we're going to head in the positive x direction and the positive y direction. So your slope should go in the positive x and the positive y. Okay, same thing with over here. Here we have a negative x and a positive y, right? Negative x, positive y, right? So then this graph should be growing into the second quadrant over here, kind of like that, right? And then same thing over here, we have a positive x, right? Negative y. So here we have positive x, negative y, right? So then this one grows into this fourth quadrant over here. And then lastly, we have negative x, negative y, right? So negative x, negative y. So then this graph should be sloping down here, down into this third quadrant, all right? So hopefully that helps. Now, the last thing I want to show you here is that all of these graphs have the same asymptote, all right? And the asymptote uh, for all of them is just going to be along the x-axis, or in other words, where y is equal to zero, okay? And if you don't remember what an asymptote is, it's just a line that your graph gets really close to, but it never actually touches, okay? So I'm just putting that right here in purple, right? Y is equal to zero right there. Y is equal to zero there. And here, Y is equal to zero, okay? So as you can see, our graph right here, um, it, kind, it comes in, right? It gets closer and closer and closer and closer to zero, but it will never actually touch, right? And we're gonna go in, over an example where you're gonna kind of see that. Okay, so remember, this is math, right? We should be using numbers. So let me do an example where we're gonna plug in some numbers here, and then I think the graphs are gonna make a little bit more sense. All right, so here's the four equations that we're gonna graph really quick. So we have y is equal to two to the x, y is equal to two to the negative x, y is equal to negative two to the x, and y is equal to negative two to the negative x, right? So first of all, looking at this first one, where should we expect the graph to be sloping into? Well, we have a positive x and a positive y, right? So positive x, positive y, right? So we should expect it to look something like that, okay? So let's graph it. Now, how do you graph it? Well, the easiest way is just making a little xy table. Now, there's three points I like to plug in negative one, zero, and one, just to kind of get a good idea of what the graph looks like on the negative side, along the axis, and on the positive side, right? 
So we're going to plug in these x values into this x right here, and then we're going to solve for y, okay? So first of all, let's plug in the negative 1 right here. So we're going to have 2 to the negative first power, and I'll write it here. So 2 to the negative first power. Now, whenever you have a negative exponent, this is the same thing as 1 over this whole thing. But the only difference when you throw this whole thing into the denominator is your exponent turns positive, right? So then down here, it's going to be 2 to the positive first power. And 2 to the first power is just 2, right? So here we really have 1 over 2. And as a decimal, this would be 0 0.5. 0 0.5, okay? And then the next one is 0. So we're going to plug in a 0 right here. So we're going to have 2 to the 0 power. Now, anything raised to the 0 power is just equal to 1, right? So we're going to have a 1 right there. And then lastly, we're just going to plug in a 1 right there. So 2 to the first power is just equal to 2, right? It's just equal to 2. All right, so here are our points right there. So first of all, we're going to plot negative 1, uh, comma, 0 0.5. So negative 1, 0 0.5 is right there. Uh, the next one is 0, 1, 0, 1. So again, like I told you, we're always going to run through this point right here, 0, 1. And then lastly, 1, 2, right? So 1, 2, right there. Okay, and then I'm just going to play, connect the dots, start off really close right there, and then we take off, blast off. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, our graph over here comes down this way, and it gets really close to the x-axis over here, but it's never actually going to touch the x-axis, right? So we can get really, really, really close to zero, but we can't actually touch zero, right? So again, that's why we have these asymptotes that we can draw in right here. That's why we can say that we have an asymptote right here at y is equal to zero. And that's going to be the case, again, for all four graphs. Okay, so now let's uh, graph this second one really quick. So we have y is equal to 2 to the negative x, right? So here we have a negative x and a positive y, right? So negative x and positive y. So we should expect this one to slope something like that, right? So again, if we're going to graph this, let's just make a little table. So little x, y table right there. And then the three points I'm going to plot are those. So let's plug in negative 1 into this uh, equation right here for x, right? And I'm going to write this out kind of deliberately so you can see it. y is equal to 2 to the negative, and then what's our x value here? Negative 1, right? So we're going to plug in a negative 1 for our x value right there, okay? So as you can see, we have two negative signs. So a negative times a negative is a positive, right? So then this is going to be equal to 2 to the positive first power, okay? And two to the first power is just equal to two, right? So then we just have a two right there. Now we're gonna plug in a zero right there, right? So we're gonna have two raised to the negative zero power. The zero is not negative or positive, so that does, the sign doesn't really affect it in this case. So really we just have two raised to the zero power, and remember anything raised to the zero power is just equal to one, right? So we're gonna have a one right there. Okay, and then we're going to plug in a 1, lastly, for our x right here. So this is going to be equal to 2 to the negative 1. This is going to be equal to 1 over 2 to the positive first power, right? 2 to the positive first power, which is equal to 1 half, which again we can write as 0 0.5. 0 0.5, right? Now if we graph these really quick, we're going to have negative 1, 2, which is there, 0, 1, and 1, 0 0.5. Okay, so then again, if we connect the dots, you can see how this all plays out just like our evil plan predicted, okay? So not too bad, right? And I'm gonna erase this just to give ourselves a little extra room over here for these last two tables. Okay, so here we have y is equal to negative two to the x, right? So here you can see we have a positive x and a negative, negative y, right? So positive x, negative y. So we should expect this one to look something like that, right? So again, we're just going to plug in some points right here. So we're going to make a little x, y table. So negative 1, 0, and 1, right? So first of all, we're going to have negative 2, right? We're going to plug in negative 1 here, right? So we're going to have negative 2 raised to the negative first power. 
Okay, so then this is going to be equal to, uh, so we have this negative sign out here in front, right? So we can leave that negative sign out here in front. So then really we just have 2 raised to the negative first power. Okay, so then 2 raised to the negative first power, again, we can rewrite that as 1 over 2 to the positive first power. Okay, and then this is going to be equal to negative, and then here we have 1 over, uh, so 2 to the first power, that's again just equal to 2, right? So this is just 1 over 2. Okay, so negative 1 half, or in other words, negative 0 0.5, right? Negative 0 0.5. Okay, now let's plug in this zero for x right here. So we're, again, we're gonna have negative two to the zero power. Okay, so again, we just have this negative sign out here, so just leave that alone. What we really are looking for here is two to the zero power, so again, that's equal to one, right? So then here we have negative one. Okay, so negative one right there. And then lastly, we're gonna plug in a one for x right here. So then again, we have this negative sign out here and then we have two to the first power, which is just equal to two, right? So here we have negative two, right? So negative two. Okay, so then these are the pairs that we're gonna graph now. So negative one, negative 0 0.5, right? Negative one, negative 0 0.5, zero negative one, zero negative one, right there. So again, this is the other spot that your graph is always gonna run into if it's below the x-axis, okay? And then the other point is one negative two, right? So one negative two right there. Okay, so then again, we can connect the dots and you can see that it lands in the quadrant that we were expecting, quadrant four over here. Okay, and then lastly, we have uh, y is equal to negative two to the negative x, right? So again, we have a negative x and a negative y, right? So negative x, negative y. So we're gonna expect this one to land somewhere over here, okay? So again, let's make our table one last time and plug in our points. So first of all, let's plug in negative one right here for the x value. So then here we're gonna have y is equal to negative two to the negative, and then what's our x value? Negative one, right? Negative one. Okay, so here we have a negative times a negative, which is a positive, so here we have positive one, right? So this is equal to negative two to the positive first power, and any number raised to the first power is just itself, right? So it's, this is just equal to negative two, right? So negative two. Now let's plug in a zero right there uh, for x. So we're gonna have negative two raised to the negative zero power. Okay, so again, we have this negative sign out here in front. So ignore that one for now. What we're really looking at is two raised to the zero power and that's equal to one, right? So here we're gonna have, bring your negative sign out front. So two to the zero power again is just equal to one, right? So we have negative one right here, negative one. Okay, and then lastly, we have this one right here. So let's just plug in the one right there. So we're gonna have again, negative uh, two to the negative one. Okay, so this is gonna be equal to our negative sign right there. And then two to the negative one, again, is just equal to one over two. Okay, so negative one half, again, we can write as negative 0 0.5. All right, so then if we plot these, we're gonna have negative one, negative two, zero, negative one, zero, negative one, and one, negative 0 0.5, right? One, negative 0 0.5, right? So then you can see that our graph is gonna look something like that. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.